Ready to Love, season four, supposed to be five, episode three, uh, something about love, girl. Uh, love finds you, love leads you, uh, road to lead to love, something like that. How y'all doing? Happy Saturday. I miss you guys yesterday. I miss you guys. But guess what? I realized that I am so behind in plotting for NaNoWriMo, which begins November 1st. And so what I decided to do was just totally unplug, totally unplug from YouTube and just concentrate on plotting. And I got a lot of work done last night. I was up at four o'clock this morning plotting, got a lot of work done, found me an additional editor because I needed another editor. I feel like I'm on top of the world. And now I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Ready to love season four, uh, episode three. What happened last night? Who was sent home? I don't know. Okay, I was busy plotting my book. I am so excited to be here. I want to thank you for your love and your support to help me to get to 12,000 subscribers. Thank you. Shout out to Auntie Surprise. Hey, Auntie, hey, Auntie. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you for your birthday wishes. Thank you for your love on my books. Thank you for those reviews on Amazon. I totally, absolutely adore you. I appreciate your love on my t-shirt. I just love you guys. Listen, what y'all eating? I have a bagel with cream, with uh, peanut butter, which I should not be having because I haven't exercised all week. Like, oh my God, my doctor would have a fit. And I am having some raspberry tea. Oh my God. I love all things fall. Thank you for the compliments on my fall decor. Okay, my husband said don't buy any more pillow. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Talk to me in the comment section. I still have to come back and talk about the ladies. There's a few things that I picked up of, about a few of the ladies that I want to pinpoint so that ladies, we can adjust right when we date and not be like those ladies. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Corey, where are you going? Mm -mm. Cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tommy, set up a happy hour. Taste, Tisa. So it's Tisa, Walter, Tyrone. I can recognize by those eyes. Wait a minute. Did she ask them why they voted her in the bottom? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tisa is one of the ladies that I want to talk about. And um, I think a lot of us are like her. Okay. And I want to talk about. I love that pink she has on. While I got y'all here, what about what happened last night? Why was I in the bottom? Tisha, Tisha, I, I'm gonna wait for somebody to call her name. <sighs> I can't. What is Cora saying? Uh. Mm. <laughs> Cora was like, well, you, well, this guy, what's his name? I forgot his name. In the yellow shirt. That's a nice yellow, too. I love that. Cora was like, well, you already know what happened. You know, when I came to talk to you. And she was like, well, what you wanted to be like this? Uh -huh. I like her, Tisa, Tisha, but mm -mm. she's too overly confident, and I don't like that. I don't know. Okay, who is this in those pink pants? Yeah. 
Oh, Aisha, yes, and the pink pants, honey. Oh, Tisa didn't look happy. You see her eyes like. Child, you see, you see, Alicia, Alicia, I'm going to ask y'all, lady. Y'all talk about high value man, honey. Mm-mm. No, Lord. The whole back is out. Mm. And how old is she? She's, what, 40? That Alicia girl? I tell you, these Alicia's are always problems. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. That Alicia is how old is Alicia? I feel like some of the women are overplaying their hand. I don't like it with these men, the way they're overplaying their hand. They have her name wrong. She's 37. Mm. Mm, mm. I love the pink pants, baby, but mm. okay. Let's watch it on. Oh my god. Okay. I tell you that that Frank just looks like a bishop, don't he? Oh, here comes Nephew Tommy. What's the name looks pretty in that green? <laughs> Carrie's pretty. I love that she did a natural hairstyle. Um, Cornelius. Looks good. What's her name? Looks really good in that yellow. I love that that she chose to come very um. They're toasting. Alicia's still looking mad. Is that a dress? Um. Sabrina has on. Does anybody know if that's a dress Sabrina has on? I love that green. She has on a green, looks like a jacket, but I think it's a dress. <laughs> Ooh, bring your ghoul. Let the ladies get to know you. Not your representative. Come on, nephew Tommy. Ah, <laughs> DC knows how to do a happy hour. Ah, mix it and mingle, drinking your margarita. I love Sabrina's outfit. That has got to be a dress. End of the week, they're going to meet up and see who's going to make real progress. I do not look I like Alicia's blonde hair. I think the blonde hair fits some women, but I just don't feel like it fits her. Look at Tyrone, looking all scared. Who was it that said it was his eyes that make me? I don't, that's what it is. He looks scary. Oh, I love Kara's hair. <laughs> Tyrone asks, um, Glenda, Glenda, do you think your mama gonna like me? Wait a minute, what's Sabrina asked her about being an alpha this year? Wait a minute. Girl. <laughs> Sabrina, uh, what's the name of something about oyster? It's Rina X Tyrone. I heard this at Aphrodisia. Is that true? He was like, uh, uh, there's a that's the second time he said something like that. He has a good sense of humor, Tyrone. Aisha said she'd like to slurp them down. 
Ew, look at Canton sweating like a pig. Oh my God. Is that grease or is that sweat? What are your favorite things to read? What are your favorite things to read? Red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. Who read a thing? He probably heard somebody say something, but like he didn't hear right. He thought, what's your favorite things to read? What? It get, get this, get, get. Kick him to the curb. Ew. Girl, bye. Let me go back and hear what Carrie has to say. Carrie was like, what? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Karen said, I hope there's more to Karen Carrington than what meets the eye. He's very surface right now. Because he in deep. He is very surface. Girl Bob. What are the second time, it was very interview-like questions. <laughs> Karen said she spoke to him before at the mansion, and it was very interview question, and then the second time is very interview question. <laughs> you see, ladies, that's what I want to talk to you guys about when I do my other video about not making the conversation come off as an interview. Don't let them know you're interviewing them. Okay. That's Carrie. I like her. And I love that she did the braids. I absolutely love her braids. <laughs> you have to one for me. Oh, uh. If you, he asked Carrie, if that, if you had to cook one meal to lock your man down, mm. Mm, mm. Run to the hills, ladies. Because, you know, that's one of those lying things they used to tell us back in the days. The way to a man's heart is through his belly to his stomach lies. Go ahead, Carrie. She said, that's a turn off. Mm hmm. So, <laughs> Camille is crazy. Walter, she was like, it's too early to ask. He was like, ask him. And she was like, what's your credit score? Ooh. Do you guys think that's too early? I don't think you come right out and ask him that. That's not a question you come right out and ask Camille. You know what I mean? And that is definitely a turn off. Mm, mm. Here go, uh, Miss uh, Courtney. Women don't like their hair being touched. I like it being grabbed. Then she gonna cry sexual abuse or something. Somebody come up to some man, come up to you and grab your hair. Well, Mike knows he can touch my hair, grab it, pull it, twirl it. I'm a female. I'm Leo. I'm not scared to talk to a man. I'm going to go up to him and tell him what I want. Masculine. Oh, that Corey, she is such a dude. She's so masculine. And the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is because she's young and pretty, you know, a lot of the men might, might overlook it, but I don't think the serious ones will overlook it because Courtney's is extremely masculine. I picked that up from the first time she opened up her mouth. I said, uh-uh, completely masculine. And I'm wondering, doesn't she realize that this is a turnoff to, to masculine men? She might, she might get a, a beta male with that. 
But honey, she is too masculine for my spirit. I might not be able to watch this whole this whole thing, child. She's too manly for me. Mm, mm, mm. I like you. Whether that's I want to pursue you, I want to date you. That's just me. Ooh, she said I'm gonna go out to him and tell him I like you with I like you. I want to pursue you. I want to date you. She's a man. Courtney is a man. Is this how the millennials are doing it? These come on, millennials in the comments, you 30 year olds and below. Is this what y'all doing these days? What in the what? I cannot, girl. Let me sip my tea. She enjoys going after a man, she's a man. Mm -mm. Ain't no feminine woman going to say that. No, ma'am. Ooh, child. Yeah. <laughs> Love language. He said, uh, uh, Cornelia says gifts, and she was like physical touch. You know, we're talking about having sex. We're talking about putting the heat from behind me. Into we're talking about having sex. If I'm cooking dinner behind you, grab my ass. She wants Cornelius to change his love language because she wants to touch on him. Now, this is this, this. You go out on a date on a for with the first date with the man, and this is what you're doing, touching on him. And if she, if the man was doing, you know what she would cry. I don't like it. I, I don't like to keep your hands to you. Nobody should be touching nobody other than him opening the door for you. And she got her, lay her hands right up there. Girl, right here, honey, right here, her head. If she do this, she going to touch his dingling. Okay? She's going to touch his dingling. That's what she want to do. That, that Courtney, manly. Massages. I'm going to work you out. She's leading with sex. Ooh, child, they're so masculine for me. Okay, so Frank, excuse me, Frank is walking outside with Tisa. Aisha loves talking to Walter. Camille is, is exchanging number with Camellias. Laron, this girl, she's pretty. I like her. She's the um the workout girl. I don't think she likes her, um. Uh, Karen too. She's just saying, yeah, you could put my number in my phone. Uh, your number in my phone. Yeah, but she don't really like him, John. She can tell. Uh, Zeta, Zadia. I like Zadia too. She's not getting a lot of camera time so far, but I like her. Zadia. Corey is talking to Sabrina. I love Sabrina's dress. She was like, you're grown and sexy. She's like, yeah. When you walked in the door, I peeped at you because I was watching you. I was like, I would definitely enjoy that. Is she a peach? <laughs> I can't with these ghetto men. See, I don't date men like that. I can't. I couldn't do it. Corey is going to say to Sabrina, when you walked in the door, I saw you. And I was like, yeah, I would enjoy that. What in the world? This dusted right here. This little dusted right here. Can I go do something with you that will, that will let us connect? <laughs> he said, he said, he said, can I go do something with you to make us connect? Sabrina was like, <laughs> Sabrina, I love her. Sabrina. I don't think Corey has. Ah, she said, I don't think Corey has any bad. I'm not trying to bash him, just didn't appreciate his approach. Oh, yes, Sabrina. She was like, pump your brakes, shorty. Let, let's just talk with no expectations, with nothing. Where I excel at is creating a safe environment. Well, you're not making her environment safe now. You're, you're acting like a predator. Oh, I love her boots. Oh, Sabrina, yes. 
Yes, girl. Come on, Sabrina. Use the environment you have and make the best of it. She's like, I, I could start hitting you with question left and right. Oh, she has, oh, she has on shorts. I love Sabrina's outfit. Ladies, look at Sabrina's outfit. I absolutely love it. That is so sexy. She has a little shorts on up here, and then she has on like a green blazer. Is that green? Mint green? I don't know the greens now. Green is what kind of green is Sabrina's jacket? Can somebody tell me what kind of green? Sabrina jacket is with a with a white or cream um what you call what's what we wear on the inside I'm lost for words I absolutely love it she's adorable I love it very sexy but business casual sexy love it Oh, Corey is such a dick. Right, Sabrina. She says she feel like Corey is playing a game. Corey's going to go home tonight. <laughs> I almost spit my tea. I should say, I'm good. I'm good. My number one objective is to make somebody laugh. She was like, you definitely make me laugh. Sabrina's not feeling me. I'm not sure why. Because you don't know how to talk to ladies, Corey. That's why. What she said, what he said, I'm gonna go home tonight. Oh, she said she's cool to go home right now. But Sabrina is how old is Sabrina? There's not enough. Sabrina's 45. Come on, where where are the men for the 45 year old ladies? Mature. Huh? There's nobody there for her. Isn't she the oldest one? Um, what's her name? Was the oldest one, but she left. Um, what's her name? Libba. How old was Libba? Libba was 43. Was Libba 43? Libba left. Uh, Sabrina is 45. She looks absolutely stunning for 45. She's beautiful. If you don't, if Sabrina, if you didn't tell us we're 45, girl, we wouldn't have thought it. We would think you're 35. Okay, she's absolutely beautiful. Libba was, how old was Libba? <clears throat> 44. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sabrina is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Oh, this is a nice. So, uh, oh my God. Look at Sabrina. Oh, I love that. I love her. I love Sabrina's outfit. She has on like a blazer that comes down in the middle of her thighs. Then she has on the, 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 the jeans shorts that you can't really see where her walking. And then she has on the ankle boots. Oh my God. Very sexy. And she has on a, a nice necklace. Love it. So the dusty Corey, uh, I don't know if he's a dusty yet. Uh, he might be a thought, but I don't know if he's a dusty. Uh, he said he didn't feel like he made any connection at the mixer when he was something happened when he was leaving the party. So she was, he was going home and Nanim, Nanim, do he say Ningo? Nanim. Let me let me play and see her face. Here, energy change. Well, first of all, why why you don't have triple A, ladies? Get you some triple A. Okay, so she he's feeling like her energy changed towards it. That's right, because women want to, we want to feel protected and loved and cared for, and all of this stuff. So you do something for us, child. We start looking at you. We start looking at you like. <laughs> So Corey's sitting there smiling. Who is he meeting with? Did he say, if you take one step towards me, I'll take three. I can't. He's a dusty. <laughs> I don't know yet. I got to see some more. And ask for a date. So who is he on a date with? 
Oh, she's so tiny. I love the one piece white she has on. Look at him taking pictures already. She just got there. He's taking pictures. Moomin, Moomin, Moomin is a pretty girl too. She's very pretty. I like her. Um, uh, is she one of the crazy ones? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, Moomin, Moomin, Moomin. She's very pretty. Very pretty, and she's so tiny. She's tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh, Moomin. Mm -hmm, this is her. I didn't see her at the mixer. Did I see her at the mixer? Okay, that's Moomin. <clears throat> you changed my tire. You should have. You should have Triple A. She's thirty six. She does not look her age. She looks very good. They're gonna go for a walk. And so, what is that? They're gonna have a picnic. We are in my element. Mm -mm. The first date. Okay. Is he going to drop her after the first date? <laughs> enjoy nature while I enjoy nature and your beauty. Child, I wouldn't be going in no bushes with no man. Okay, Cornelius, Walter, Courtney. And Camille. Lord, she's so crazy, child. That Camille. Ooh, I love Walter's pink shirt. So uh, Camille set up a date with her and Walter and Courtney and Cornelius. <sighs> she said, I want to see how touchy feeling they are so I could shut it down. Wait a minute now. Let's, let's figure this out you're on a you you set up a date and you're on a date with i don't like the way Corey, you you smile you do that that laugh that you can see all the way back here i don't like that so let me understand this miss camille you set up a date you and walter and you want to see courtney and Courtney and uh, Walter to see how touchy feely they are, so you can shut it down. I'm missing something because this girl, I just cannot, I can't with her. She's okay. This is Courtney again, and um. Camille, let me show you Camille. I she's a she's a nut, like a nut, a real nut. She's she she uh oh no, I have Camille up here already. She um I just can't with her. Uh so it's Camille. This girl, she's a nut. She's a nut. Oh, so they're talking about religion. Okay, let's see. Let's rewind. Who asked a religious question? Ooh, she gonna shut it. Okay, so Camille is the one that asked the question about religion. Wait a minute. So is that Walter or Dante? Because I get that mixed up. Let me rewind so I can see who's talking. <clears throat> He's spiritual. Cornelius believe Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Trinity, he believes Trinity, Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. Oh, so Camille is like, I am a church girl. Grandfather's a minister. Apparently, he didn't lay hands on your car. It cast that crazy out. Okay, let's see what Miss Courtney's going to say. What's she going to say? She grew up in the church. Lord Jesus, when I date a guy, I want to pray over him. His safety when he leaves the house. So you're shacking up, Courtney. 
Uh-huh. You want to shack up and mm-hmm. fornicate. Uh, she talking out of two both sides of her head, mouth child. I just cannot with this girl. So Cornelius is like uh, both both Camille and Courtney has attributes that he like. Courtney prays for her man. Cornelius, don't fall for it. She's a thought. She's a man. Camille preachers kick her up in the church, neck and neck. I don't know, neck and neck. I don't know. I I think. <laughs> Between Courtney and Camille, I would have to go with the crazy <laughs> over the masculinity. I just, I just, I just, uh, she too masculine for me. Okay, go ahead, brother. Oh, here he talk about, oh, people hear my conversation for God. Yeah, God know me. Oh, I can't stand here with that big old beard on his, what's his name, Dante? Let me see what his name is. I don't really care for this dude. You know, those are those guys that talk like that and we want to talk about. Anyways, people have a right to live their life the way they want to live it. Uh, whatever your relationship with God is. Uh, I know you can only have a relationship with the God of the Bible through Jesus Christ. So if it ain't through him, I don't know. You know, there may be somebody else. I'm just saying, I don't know who that is, but I'm just saying, though. <laughs> no, that's not Dante. That's Walter. Walter, yeah. Walter. Talk about when people hear my conversation with God. So you praying for people to hear you, Walter? Stop. Child, Corey got Moomin all the way up in the bushes, all the way in the middle of the bushes, girl. There was no way I would be going up in the bushes with him. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Real tall, Corey say. Has your perception of me changed? She's like, uh-huh. She was like, that meant a lot. What I do with her? Does she smoke? That's one of the things I'm really good at acts of service. <laughs> she said, Alicia, communicate. You're honest. You're a cool guy. Ah, she said, I'm not usually in guys who's quirky and, and horny, but. <laughs> Wait a minute. What did she, who called who? Did Corey call ne- Mumen for a date or did she call him? Corny. She said corny, not horny. Oh, she called him. She called him and asked for it. Well, this is TV, okay? And everybody's trying to stay on as long as you can to the end so you could get the bonus money and get the, oh, my God, they made it. So because this is TV, I'm going to excuse her calling him. Mm, but I don't know why he didn't call her. You should have called her, asked her for a date. Dumb, dumb, dumb. You did something nice for her. Maybe she likes you now. Why is my refrigerator ready to open? Okay. Courtney, the masculine, is going to switch it up. She got a big forehead. I'm just noticing her forehead. Ooh. The question is, why is Camille walking around with the little baby fan? Oh, it's Texas. It's hot. It's hot in Texas, right? No, it's DC, allegedly. Lord have mercy. Here go Courtney asking, how important is sex to you in a relationship? Before she could get the wall to talk about a lot. Let me hear what Cornelia says. Okay, Camille. Okay. She said to walk to add on to that. Courtney was like, go ahead, Queen. Go ahead. Camille was like, sex before marriage. Courtney was like, because she knows she's a thought. 
Okay, let's see. Ooh, now look at her. She's changing up. Courtney's changing up now because she knows she ain't no real church girl. Mm -hmm. And Cornelius was like, yeah, I was about to ask that. Look at her. Child, she rubbing her weave, honey. That weave is about to fall off because she thought they was going to be off for it. Let's hear what this is. If that's her preference. Courtney, Courtney is like, if sex is not good, it's not going to work. That's her preference. Wait a minute. So Camille says she'll go to counseling and wait. Wait a minute. Let me rewind Cornelia because very important what Cornelius is saying. You would never like wait before I actually get married. Camille, I will go to counseling. So Camille is like, there's going to be a period where we're not having sex. And Walt is like, no, we can't have that. And okay, Cornelius, what you got to say? Look, listen to him. If I want it, I need to have it. Come on, Cornelius. Come on, brother. Speak up. This is Walter. Camille's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Camille said Walter's a little freak. <laughs> she said Courtney was the same. Come on, Cornelius. Come on now. Speak up. What you got to say? Cornelius is like, you want to wait. He's right, though. You want to wait. You have all intentions of waiting. But if a slip up happened, don't let the slip up happen, girl. Don't be at his house all by yourself in the night in a lingerie. <laughs> Here goes she, Courtney, scratching her weave again. How do you switch it? Like, what the? <sighs> Lord Jesus, that Courtney girl, oh, Lord, I just cannot with her. I'm trying to like Courtney. I'm really trying to like her, but I just don't. Okay. She's so masculine. Sex is important. It's a part of intimacy. Sitting at dinner, but I can't. There she go, rubbing up on his dingling. Ooh, her hands is all the way up there, and Camille is like, "What?" Camille is like, "She could do that." Cornelia said, "Yes, she could do that." Camille was like, "She cannot." Wait a minute, Camille. We are all dating each other, so what you mean he can't? She Lord. And Cornelius was like, yes, she can. And she was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so Camille has already claimed Cornelius. Oh, I forgot. She did say that's my boyfriend. Oh, I'm hungry, girl. Oh, girl, I need me something to eat. Somebody's in the kitchen, honey. I need me some food. <laughs> Walter's like, let me just eat my shrimp. Kirk, uh, Walter need to get back to the office. They enjoy their date. Oh, my Lord. Okay, back to Moomin and uh, Courtney. Co Corey. Oh, is she about to Doggy Rider, wait a minute. He got Courtney got up and, and got behind her like he's about to bam, 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 bam. <laughs> that Corey, oh, he was doing. <gasps> Oh, 
<gasps> Do y'all see Corey? Like, mm, mm. Scandalous on national TV. Woman said her his jokes are awful, but he he makes me laugh, and I can tell he likes to make me laugh. Oh, child, I need me something to eat. I need me a whole cheeseburger, girl, and it's only like eight o'clock in the board. <laughs> I need cheeseburger. If I kiss you right now, would you go back and tell everybody that? Because yes, I would. So now she's he said he gonna wait. Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, whatever you're ready, your last first kiss. I can see Corey and Moomin together. They make some beautiful babies after they get married. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, child, this is so scandalous. Okay, I can never. Zadia, Zadia, I like Zadia. Zadia's going on with Tyrone with the scary eyes. Zadia coming around the corner with that body. Today's Saturday, right? He's trying not to smile, trying not to cheese. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, wow, every day can be like this. There's eight other beautiful women. Good girl. Corey love that. Corey, Tyrone love that she's into building things. She feel like building people emotionally and mentally. She's a builder male, Lord. Did she say build people mentally and emotionally? Lord, here's another one battling anxiety. Lord Jesus, these men, sir. Did you go to counseling? Did you go to counseling, Tyrone? He needed to, something to get it through that. That's a good question Zadi is asking. Is it anxiety because of you being an entrepreneur? So, or is it things happen mentally? So he's saying his entrepreneur business, Tyrone, has been going really good. Did I show you his idea? I basically like all the ladies except for um, Courtney. She's, she's just too masculine. I just cannot with her. I cannot with her. But I like I like them all. This is Zadia and this is Tyrone. So he said his entrepreneurial business is going really good. That's good. Oh, he's been diagnosed with PTSD and a lot of a lot of our military, um, a lot of our military, uh, is this military servants? No, military service men and women battle PTSD. Prayers for Tyrone. He was hospitalized twice and he was he thought he was having a heart attack. I just don't feel like this is something you need to tell on the first date, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. I just don't feel that's something you need to tell. I think you should let people get to know you first, okay? And then when they get to know you first, they know a different side of you because now I'm going to judge you based on based on your uh what what the word he used um depression or whatever okay i just feel like we all have stuff we have to get through but i i want to get to know you as a person first okay so he was hospitalized twice and he felt like he was having a heart attack wow oh my god it was scary he didn't experience nothing like that 
Ooh, the process forces you to open up immediately. Well, he said he's been raided by the D. He's been he's been um, deployed twice, and he's been raided by the V V V A by that having PTSD. There's nothing he can handle. I'm glad you went to get the help. I I just wish, you know, more 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 people of color would um, seek help for um, any kind of form of anxiety or depression or anything like. I appreciate that, Tyrone. So he's right. So he just basically said what I said. He said he feel like he needs to mention things that could be a detriment so that they can know who you are. And see, my thing is, my thing is, and this is especially for single moms, <clears throat> don't lead with that. Don't lead with you being a single mommy. Don't lead with you having PTSD. Try get lead with the other side of who I am. My PTSD is not me. Uh you, that's not all of who I am. That's just a part of who I am. And, you know, me being a single mom is not all of who I am. That is a part of who I am. But here's another side of me. That's what I'm saying. And so he basically said what I said, because he think he said this could be a detriment. This is why you should not leave with that, Tyrone. <laughs> Okay, cute to things going on in your body, your brain make start overthinking things. Start breathing slower. So she says she does breathing exercises too every morning. She put her hand over her heart every morning. She completely understands. Yes, taking the steps to, I don't know if I would use the word correct. I wouldn't, I don't think I would use the word taking the steps to correct because it's not something the person did wrong. It's just something that happened. You know, PTSD, depression is like heart disease or diabetes or cancer. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an ailment that you didn't make happen. This is just something that happens. I, I wouldn't use the word taking the steps, ladies, if you're dating somebody that has PTSD or some kind of depression or something. I wouldn't use the step take, I wouldn't use the term taking the steps to correct because it's not something they did that's wrong. It's just something that happened, okay? We have to be careful, especially when we're dating, we have to be careful with how we say things. So I'm glad these started hitting it off, okay? Oh, she so, said he was very vulnerable. To so it was, she admired how honest he is. Oh, that's a good question. Tell me something you feel. That's a good question too. Uh, tell me something that you recognize in yourself that you could uh, be better with. That's a good question, ladies, to ask because... Um, I remember when I was interviewing for the job I have, I did a mock interview with the director of tutoring. And he said, when they ask you, what is your weakest link or something, or what is it? Don't, don't say something that you actually need for the job, but say something that you don't really need for the job. So with not this job I have, because this job is very computerized. The other job I had, he was like, well, say something like, oh, you know, I'm not very strong with computers. Well, it doesn't matter because I don't use computers. Okay. This job I do a lot. That's a good question. <laughs> She's bush ghetto. Wait a minute. Atlanta. Atlanta. Did she say Atlanta? Rewind. We have this thing in Atlanta. Isn't this mad at first sight, DC?
Last week, Tisa said, Chicago, I need a break. I need a break. I just can't. I can't. I thought this was married at first sight, DC. I can't. Ready to love, DC. I can't. I need a break. I cannot. I cannot. I will not. I can't. I will not. Did she say Atlanta? So is she saying she's from Atlanta? She came to DC to record this show. I can't. I had to go warm my tear. I just can't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Booge get her. She's clutchy. Clatchy. What's clutchy? I've never heard that. Booge get her. Ooh, he helped her to get up. That's romantical. Oh, she looks like she's taller than him. Oh, they're about the same height. A lot more time and a lot more days. Well, I hope they hit it off. Oh, Lord. Carrington asks Aisha for a day. Wait a minute. This girl, the New York. I just went up. I could feel. I could feel. I this was married at uh, ready to love DC. Now, uh, you should talk about the New York in me, like the cockiness. The cockiness. Girl, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought she said there was, this was married at first sight, DC. <laughs> ready to love DC. He's very poised. He's very dapper. Is she for real? You know, Aisha don't date nobody. You can't use poise and dapper. For Carrington, are you kidding me, Gerba? Confident cockiness. I can guess the New York and me. Which I can't with this ghetto ness. I can't. He was very hard to read, and she was prepared to ask the tough question. Oh, he said, "Stand aside. Let me see." Oh, I love. Is that a dress? That's a nice dress. Oh, this is something very popular in the district. This is a very sexy spot. I feel like I came with my A game. Are you going to pay for the date? Blonde hair, the nails, everything is certain polish. I like a certain polish of a woman. Carrington, stop with the lies, sir. We already know about your business all in the streets, which you're sleeping on the people's couches and owing all the money in the child support. Allegedly. Allegedly. Did I put the dusty up here? <laughs> Y'all know who Carrington is, right? Girl, I just I just can't with him. I just can't with with it with him. Girl. He's blushing. She's blushing. It's mutual. Do we look good together is the question. Ooh, child. She said, you're 33. I'm 38. Does that work for you? He's always been attracted to, to older. Is he sweating again? I, just... I can't. I can't with all this sweat. Uh-uh, he said you might be a little young for the woman I'm talking to you, so is that an uh, issue? He talked about he didn't have a, a traditional relationship. The kids talk, call it situation shit. Very much 
Ooh, child, she said that because he worked in the nightlife, it's very much sex driven. In, uh, ooh, so he's a, uh, he work at the strip club. Is that, is that what she's saying? Karen work, Karen said works at the strip club. Is that, <laughs> so Lord. Ladies in your face, a lot of flirty, flirty, flirty. Sort of a red flag. Ooh, that's good, ladies. Ooh, excuse me. Ah, he said, I can't say I've cheated because I haven't had a girlfriend. He's way. He's probably just one of those men that sweat a lot. <laughs> he said, I can't say I've cheated because I haven't had a girlfriend. He's slick. Character is slick. Okay, he's slick answering these questions. <laughs> I want a cheeseburger so bad. It's Mike to make me a cheeseburger. Mike, can you please make me a cheeseburger? We don't have any cheeseburger. So that's a good, he said he hasn't been in a relationship to cheat by on someone. That's partly by design. See, they're, they're dating all these other ladies and you just meeting one man and making him your man. You can't cheat if you're not in a relationship. I got to give it to him. I got to give it to him. He's right. Go ahead, Karen. I always liked him. She said, oh, he knows how to talk. He knows how to talk his way out of a paper bag. She was with her ex-husband from 19 to 31. She didn't want to come to anybody broken. She went to therapy. Very good, Aisha. Don't cry, girl. Don't cry. Ah, he act like he's the church. Take your time with the Take your time. And she had to get her her kids therapy too. As a man that always want to help and assist, but you couldn't help yourself off all that woman's couch. Yeah, when you've been with somebody for so long, it starts to unravel and you unravel too. This is why I'm believing get married too young. That's right. She did all the groundwork and she's here. Go ahead, Aisha. All of a sudden, I like you for what you see. She wants the same honesty and she's done with the game. No, romantically, you cannot see yourself with this guy, child. He's not finished playing, playing the games. He's not finished playing the games. Mike. Mike, can I please have some bacon? Thank you. I appreciate you. You are so wonderful. Thank you, darling. I just love you so much. Also, oh, group date with who? Dante and Naheem. So, Zadia is having a date with. Naeem and who's this girl? I can't remember her name. So Dante Tisa. I just feel I don't I feel oh ball. Oh, this is a season of B and B. The bald and the beers. Okay, I learned something new, Dante. <laughs> she said just some nice coarse facial hair. Ooh, she likes Tisa like a smart man because they could figure everything. This is true. 
My husband figured everything out, child. I can't be with no idiot. I just cannot be with no stupid, dumb man. Uh, you got to be able to figure it out. <laughs> she only wants to be. I tell you, this girl is a freak. <laughs> she said people ask her what's your type she's like a smart man because they can figure everything out that's right wisdom okay let it be smart i need somebody that's gonna have some wisdom honey i just cannot shiloh i can i can't remember shiloh's name she's so pretty shiloh i don't like her hair curly and down though she needs to up it it makes her look older yeah me too if he doesn't mentally stimulate me i'm not interested super active one of our shiloh's love language is physical touch <laughs> nimes looking at him like her looking at her like Ooh, you can make an experience so sensual. Go ahead, girl. Ooh, feet, close your eyes and I feed it to you. And then you explain to me what it tastes like. Ooh, she said all these sex vibes. Ah, child, the woman. Ooh, Zandia opened up her eyes like, girl, what? You all about the senses out there. You really all in the set senses. It's giving me real sex vibes. <laughs> Name say it's giving me sex vibes. Yeah, I'm sexy too. Okay. I probably. Ooh, she is overly sexual. Well, she is thirty. Well. Ooh, child, she said she probably be uh, take the, her partner in the next level of six. Ooh, child, these girls too have for my blood. Ooh, Lord, I ooh. <laughs> ooh, they're a little bit too aggressive for me. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me hear what Dante is saying about Shiloh. Ooh, child, but he can't talk. Dante can't talk. He can't. I can't stand no man that can't talk. She, he said that uh, Shiloh's are sexual and uh, it, it was a turn on and it's an attention grab. Uh, attention grabber. So you can bang her. Mm, attention grabber and bang in. They rhyme. Ooh, child, Zadea. And she said, what's the freakiest place they have said? Is this what they're supposed to be talking about on, on the show? Why is everybody talking about sex and bending you over and slipping to the slide? <laughs> Surfboard. Why? <laughs> oh, my Lord. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I say that was the bird to do. Direct question. She said, "Mine is the shower. That's very dangerous. Maybe not for you. everybody's laughing at him." Because <laughs> it's slippery. <laughs> the day I say, "I know sleepy ass, so you're gonna be okay." Lord, oh, I must be the topic. Talk about sex because how is it that they're all talking about sex? What y'all think, girls, ladies, cousins? Okay, must be about the sex because everybody is talking about the sex. Okay. Mm, Oh, Lord, flirting during the day. He don't know how good that is, but he tried the bet. <clears throat> Ooh, 
was in day has been all over the place, child. Baseball field. She was out there working somebody else, and then she ran under the docks and got her some. Mm, mm, mm. She's a freak. <laughs> Thank you, Tisa. Tisha, I totally agree. I don't feel comfortable. This is the first date with these strangers. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Say, I don't know. Ooh, the only people who need to know is me and the man. And the one I was doing, I love her red lips. Ooh, what is that, Cherry? She said, whoever find me is going to be real lucky. I don't like this outfit on her. The sheer that she has on, I don't like it. And the black doesn't flatter her body either. <clears throat> she rolled, uh, what's her name that day? I rolled her eyes. <laughs> Zendaya is ready for her partner in crime. She's ready to have her person. That means everything. The date was wonderful, and then she fell with Dante, and name is real. Oh, both of these things are needed to be explored. Oh, everybody's here for a reason. Mm -mm. Cheers to everybody. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, child, that marriage, love and marriage, hunts, uh, love and marriage, ghettoville. <laughs> I cannot watch that. Oh, is this the mixer? Oh, who's sending home tonight? Oh, all the ladies looking beautiful. <clears throat> oh, yes. Um, Carrie, I love the green. Sabrina, I love the dress. I love Sabrina that she wears dresses that complements her body. I love it. Yes. Zendaya, love it. Is it Zendaya or Zendaya? Zendaya, love it. Camille. Okay, there go nephew Tommy. I must say, all these ladies look pretty natural up front, don't don't you think? I haven't seen a potential fake boob yet. <laughs> so Aisha had an accident. She's okay. And Phil is going to me. Don't any of these women have AAA? Y'all don't do AAA in, in DC. <laughs> the other girl tired flat. Get ladies, get your AAA. I'm a I'm gonna email AAA and tell them you need to write cut me a check. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> Nam, Nam says, let's see, make sure I get her name right. Oh, I deleted her already. Nam says, there's a lot happening with cars. Ooh, child, because she had a car problem too. Ooh, I love her headpiece. I want to officially welcome you all to the ladies' lounge. welcome that to the ladies' lounge. All the ladies look pretty. Where is um Aisha? Did I see her outfit? <clears throat> Carrie, I love Carrie's green one piece. That is so pretty. Shorts. <clears throat> one rule, keep it real. <clears throat> they had to go out. Is there any real connection? Any sparks? Camille. Oh, I love that yellow she had on. How did I miss that? Oh, that is so pretty. So Camila was like, my, my, did she say my black king? Mm -hmm.
is Corneli. From day one. <laughs> Too extra for me, I just can't. <laughs> From day one, she was like. <laughs> <laughs> I had to rewind from day one. Girl, that Kabil is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she is funny. No one could ever rival Kanye. Why is she acting like Denise? Ooh, child. I used to say Cornelius and I are also. And here, here go, um, Camille. <laughs> Karen, she said, don't kill me. But I also had a connection with Cornelius. Oh, my God. Who's going to get him? Mm -mm. He talked on the phone with Karen for three or four hours. Everybody was like, oh, wow. He's very kind, sweet, and conservative. God fear him. Karen was like, thank you, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to say Cornelius is definitely working hard. Camille face. Camille has the best facial expression. <laughs> Sabrina Spark. Walter. Tyrone. Tyrone and Sabrina. I can see Walter, but Tyrone and Serena? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Did I delete Tyrone? Mm-mm. Tyrone and Serena. That went all the way over my head. When did they have a connection? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tyrone and Sabrina. Well, the age is right. What? Mm -mm, Sabrina said he he is an amazing guy. Here goes the DI. Actually, maybe Tyrone. Well, Zadia said, I met with him and we had a great connection. He's a great congratulationist. Oh, and here go, um, Carrie. Here goes Carrie. I was feeling Tyrone. Mm, mm, mm. She said, I was feeling him. Oh, y'all know how I was feeling Tyrone. What happened, girl? Did he... What happened? Mm, mm, mm. I really like Carrie, too. I like her. That's Carrie. <clears throat> and he said, I'm really jealous. But he calls me. He sounds cold. And he's like, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry about it. And I don't feel like we have a connection. What? So he called her, he thought about it and said, I don't feel like we have a connection. He should have never done that, Tyrone. Why you did that? Tyrone, why did you do that? This is a game. You have to play the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, here she go, it hurt her feelings. Carrie, why does it hurt your feeling that one out of 10 men are not feeling you?
He called me after that and he shared with me what happened. Tell us what happened, Shiloh. Okay, so she was like, he has the capacity to maintain three women. If he had to do more than that, he don't know if he could handle it. He's Tyrone, boy. Hello, you. Mm, oh Lord, hold my hand. Mm, mm, mm. Tyrone, um, oh, nephew, time is like there's a way to deliver. It. Right, he should be having that conversation with her. She want to have a discussion with him, but ladies, <clears throat> ladies, learn from this. He has the capacity to entertain three women. You might be number four, and he's gonna drop you. This is why you date several men at once. I keep telling y'all. I keep telling you, girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Charlotte's feeling Dante. Zadea's feeling naive. Nam main connection is Corey. They went on a date. Zadea's not feeling Corey. <laughs> Corey makes zero sense. Uh, Sabrina said Corey has a lot of red flags. Oh, that trip. Ooh, Sabrina, so you got to be on my level or above me. Hello, Marla. Don't go to the dungeon. Ooh, Shiloh say uh, Karen is, is, is politicking. Sabrina said, she said to Cora, look, you know I'm like 13, 14 years younger than you, right? And the Dusty is going to say, look, I'm not going to keep going back and forth with you this. If you can't handle a younger guy, uh, uh, vote him off. Vote the Dusty off. Vote the Dusty off. Sabrina, so when I'm 60 and you're my age now, I just want to know if you're going to be able to wipe my, when I'm 80, get a nurse aid. Hi, Michael Jr. Hi, this is Michael Jr. They've made some real progress. Michael, Michael Jr. Come here, babes. Please, thank you. Uh huh. This week, Sabrina looks gorgeous. I wish she didn't have all the, that big old tattoo on her arm. It's hard to do that in one setting, deciding who to go. Thank you, babes. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. that. Somebody go home. Send Carrington home. Send the Dusty home. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, Corey's going to meet somebody. Corey's meeting. Um. Oh, it's to see her. Oh. How far next day is with Tissia? Oh, he think it's a day. Mm -mm. He knew exactly what she, she said. 
She said, he said she knew exactly what you was doing when she was wearing that dress. And then he touched her behind. She was like, oh, your hands are a little close. You did not have my permission. Thank you to see her. Thank you. The Dusty Carrington. Carrington is me and um, Camille. Well, Carrington looked like he borrowed those clothes, child. Do you hear she was dressed? Oh, I love the black dress, Camille. Oh, but I got to talk about I didn't expect greatness. Camille was like, here go the game. Well, he's saying, Corey, talk about there's this too much distance between me and you. <laughs> he said, one of my love lines is physical love. Physical touch. She said, I saw with that hug. Ooh, Camille is telling Karen to, you know, understand the girls met and talk. Ah, I believe that was what I was going on. Was wrong. Ah, he said this consensus was his first red flag. Ooh, Tisa is telling Cora that a lot of girls feel like there hasn't been genuine connection. Has been really been good. He's like, oh wow. So Camille feel like there was a wall up for Carrington. Surface question. We can to ask her, is this a date or a therapy session? I will kick him out right now. Kick him out. She said it can't be both. Now he want to reset. Boy, bye. Oh, to see it, tell Corey. You need, you need to get it together. I don't like that though. <laughs> she says looking a little sketchy. Oh, she said, without me breaking girl code, some women mid like you wasn't authentic. Say hi to aunties. Hi. I already answered that question. On them can't carry a conversation. Did he say some of the people can't carry a conversation? That might be part of my personality. Oh, whether well, calculated or not, that be might be a part of the, the my personality. She she said, uh, let's just move on to the next part of our day. Camille was like, because it's a process we had to discuss. That character, I hope they say he's behind home. Keep Corey, same character home. We've decided that um she he said, I'm not ready to love. She was like, You're not ready to love. It's quite unfortunate, but whatever. Boy, bye. It was mad love to give. He didn't feel like he had the opportunity. Oh, child. I can't. This is why I don't deal with dusties, okay? And, and scrubs. Some women had pleasant conversation with Tori, but the majority of it was a little sketchy. <laughs> but the good thing is, we still feel like you're ready to love. I'm not sure how many times you're gonna be saved, Tori, but you definitely are still in the game and hopefully you'll. She's like, I'm not sure how many times you're gonna be saved. So this is the second week in a row. He's in the bottom too. With that being said, did you make? Did I make it to the second day? She was like, "That's real cold." Ah! <laughs> she said, "You made it to the second day." I really like to see it. I just think that 
well, I'll tell you guys in my video what I think, about, but I really like her. I really, really like to see you. <laughs> Hopefully she can, he can make it to the third or fourth date. Ooh, next time. Ooh, next. Why is she? Why Camille keeps saying, "Uh, uh that's enough." Like, like, I can't. Then she go, Camille, you gonna get sent home. You need to stop acting like that and understand that everybody's dating. Ooh, Frank and uh, Alicia, Aisha. Thank you. Oh, he said there's no really good time for me to say a lot more people than you. Go ahead. But I, I wish, Carrie, I wish you understand what he's saying. It's not that he don't like you. It's just that you didn't make it in the top three. Oh, to see us in the bottom next week, girl. Oh, to see a girl. I like you, girl, but I'm just letting you know you come off real masculine in a lot of things. But I'm let you know what it is. Okay, I love you. Tell me what you guys think. I really enjoyed this episode. I really enjoy it. I enjoy it. Let me know. I love you. I adore you. Thank you for your love and support. This might be it for the rest of the day because I'm still plotting with my book. So this is going to be it. But I love you. I adore you. Let me know what you think. Um, as far as the bachelorette, ooh, I don't know how that's going to be working out. I might have to just pass it up this season, but I don't know because my schedule is really, 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 really tight. But I love you. I have to go. Bye. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.